Good afternoon and welcome to Studio 5. Did you know the new accent table you're waiting for has been lying out by the back fence all this time? All you need is a can of spray paint and a reclaimed tree trunk from a forgotten firewood stash. That is the next project in the Studio 5 Spray Off series. Alicia Ruthoff joins me with this big idea and we were a little skeptical when we heard about it. So pitch us here. Why do we want a spray painted tree trunk in our living rooms? Well, first off, it is a unique piece of furniture, obviously. True. Um, it's not every time or every day you go into somebody's living room and see a tree stump sitting in it. And so, um, and you can't really buy them at big box stores or at furniture stores for the most part. And so that's what makes them unique. Our producer spotted that Ellen DeGeneres has one of these on her set. So you're definitely on the up and I coming. I so. There you go. <laughs> Four years later. Tell us about the variations that you've tried with this. Okay, so I have, I first started off with a coffee table. And uh -huh. so I got three tree stumps and put them all together and created a really big, nice kind of different level coffee so table. So it was a grouping. It was a grouping, Okay. Yeah. And then um, these ones I started with a nightstand. So this one's going to be a nightstand, uh -huh. and then I got a really tall one for a perfect end table. And so that's the, and this nightstand is actually on casters. And so they're really, really heavy. I'm not sure how heavy, probably 200 uh, plus pounds. Oh my gosh. And so instead of rolling them around to get place to place, it's easier with just casters. I so. want to talk about how you styled them in just a minute. But first you told me you got this idea literally driving down the road. Yeah, there's a tree lot right by my house and I would drive by it every single day. And my mind just kept coming up with ideas for these tree stumps. And so this was one of them. Okay, the tree trunk with casters that you pointed out, yes. just the nightstand. How did you style this up? Um, just as you would pretty much with any other nightstand. Um, I wanted to, first off, the color, obviously, the color choice on top. I wanted it to pop a little bit, uh -huh. give some color to the room. And how do they take spray paint? Does, does it hold really well? Um, okay, the top, not so well, but the bottom pieces do. Um, and it really depends on the type of tree that you have, Okay. Um, how well it's going to hold it, and how aged it is. Like this one, you can tell, has a lot of mix and crannings and all that. Right. And so the spray paint, you're going to have to do a couple cans of spray paint to get it covered. But the top was really easy. We call or, those wrinkles on our face, but nooks, nooks and crannies nooks sounds and crannies. a lot more pleasant. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. So did you find that it really soaked up the spray paint to the point that you needed an extra can? Yes, I did. For the primer, I did two cans on this one. Okay. Um, the top, it soaks in a ton. And so obviously the top's a little bit more square footage, so you don't have to use so much. But um, once you get past the primer, the next spray paint, the top coat's really easy. I am obsessed with the so, gold one. Tell us how I about love that the gold one, right? The vignette. And yeah. so that one was um, gold, as you know, is a really popular color uh -huh. late or for this whole year. And right. So I decided to go with gold and it doesn't look like spray paint. It looks like a really good modern piece that you could buy like a pottery barn or something like that. So and it was only a couple dollars. And the process <laughs> pretty simple. How did you prepare it other than the primer? Um, okay, so the process it's it's simple in ways. It depends on what kind of tree tree you get and what kind of pile you get. Uh-huh. And so when you pick it out, you want to make sure they're seasoned. It can't be a freshly cut tree. Yeah. Um, if it's freshly cut, it obviously won't work, and you'll probably get a lot of bad things going on. Okay. But um, so a season means it's been sitting out at least a year. So this one was really seasoned, obviously, because you can tell that it's gotten a lot of heat to it, and so it's kind of cracked open and whatnot. Right, which makes it all the cooler. Which makes it really cool, I guess. Uh-huh. And then, but sometimes you'll find some that have bark on it. If it has bark on it, you're going to want to take off the bark. Even though it's seasoned, the bark should come off really easily. Okay. But then sit it out again for like a week so it dries out. Sand it. The best sand paper to use that I found to get rid of because you're going to find a lot of knob, nods or whatever yeah. on it and then the, from the saw itself is the 60 grit sand paper. You're going to need the 60 it's grit. like the really good harnature kind. Yeah, that's the industrial get it done. Yes, and so you'll sand it first and then um, once you're done sanding it, you do the spray paint, your primer, and then decide on whatever top coat you want to use. Um, so the top coat for me, there's Rust-Oleum and Krylon. Uh -huh. um, both of them worked perfectly well. Um, the, this one is the Krylon for the gold, and that was the perfect gold for me. It is the perfect gold. And so it worked really, it doesn't look anything like the top. It doesn't. So. I mean, you look at the top, and I've, I've used that actual, actual can before, yeah. that actual color. You look at the top and think, I'm going for cheesy, brassy, yeah. like over-the-top 70s. It comes out really warm yes, and, and really sophisticated. Yeah, especially on the wood. It's really pretty. And then the, the Rust-Oleum actually works really well, I think, also. And so that was the color on that. And then you're, if you use it as a table, you're probably going to put drinks and faces and who knows what else on it. So you're going to want to seal it too. And so you're going to want to get a clear coat uh -huh. that seals and protects the wood. Uh -huh. So it kind of just, the water will come off. Um, 
and little droplets, I guess. And the wheels, were so, those easy to put on? The wheels, okay, the wheels are really good to have just because when you go to your tree stem pile, unless the person was meticulous, they're not going to be very level. Uh -huh. And so this tree stem, for instance, if I were to just set it down on itself, it would be like this, right? And so lopsided. with the uh, lopsided. And so with the um, casters, if you have one that you want to put casters on that is lopsided, use this kind. Because then you can screw it in, screw it all the way out. So some of them can be screwed in all the way, okay. and one side would be screwed out only halfway, so then right. it levels it. So itself. you can adjust it from caster to caster, yes. what height you want it to yes. rest at. And then if you just have one that's like that, that's the gold one that's perfect and right. normal, and you want casters, you could just go the easy way and just screw them in. There you go. And feedback so. on this project, what do people say when they walk into they, your home? They I actually love it. It's the great, a great conversation piece. It's yeah. Because as I said, nobody really has it in their house. And it's the cheapest thing too that you could do. It's, I think these are $4 about per stump. Uh -huh. um, and so plus the spray paint, obviously. But yeah, it's a really good way well, to get Decorators always going. tell us, bring a touch of nature into your home. Yeah. This is a classy, cool way to do it's it. It's a great way to do it. And on that note, they do have, um, if you just wanted to, they're really pretty if you just sand it uh -huh. and you don't want to paint it over it because it is really pretty wood. Yeah. Just do your clear coat over it. And, and that spray. would work Yeah, too. and you would get your natural piece of wood and it would be protected and it's, it's just really pretty. Okay, now the million dollar question, if we don't live next door to a tree lot, where do you source <laughs> yeah. these guys? I mean, okay. find a tree lot or? Um, luckily, my guy went MIA for a while, <laughs> so I had to try to find it. So I figured out ways. So obviously you could get on KSL Classifieds or Craigslist or whatever, and a lot of people give away free firewood. If they give away free firewood, more than likely they have tree stumps. Nice. And so just ask them if they have tree stumps. And, um, or you could, also they, people will sell you some, but I want to pay more than a couple, you know, like $10 per each one, because right. you could always find a place that has really cheap ones. That will just give it to you. Yeah. And Alicia, so, great. Yeah. Thank you so much. What a no fun problem. project. The full tutorial is on your website. It is. Yes. It's um, www.thriftyandchic.com. Great. Thank you so, so much. No Very fun. cool. Thank Very you. cool. And our spray off series continues all this week on Studio 5, so stay tuned for more easy and functional home projects all using spray paint. When